Andy Cyclass, and welcome back for another Flex Time Review. In today's lesson, we are going to be focusing on the social psych concept of conformity as we take a look at Solomon Ash's conformity experiments. As always, in the description box, there is a link that will bring you to a worksheet that goes along with the video. So with that out of the way, let's get started. In social psychology, conformity is going to be when we adjust our behavior or thinking to match a group standard. According to research completed in 1958 by Harvard professor Herbert Kelman, there are going to be three levels of conformity. Compliance, identification, and internalization. Our first level of conformity is going to be compliance, which is just when we change our behavior because someone else asked us to. Let's say your school has a no hat policy, but you decide to wear one anyways. When you get to school, a teacher asks you to take the hat off. In an act of conformity, you take the hat off even though you much rather keep it on. While in school, you conform to this rule. But as soon as you leave the building, you put your hat right back on. Complying with this rule is a short-term change and is often the result of what social psychologists call a normative social influence, which are just influencers that result in our desire to gain approval or avoid disapproval. Our next level of conformity is going to be identification, which is just when we change our public behaviors as well as our private beliefs, but only while in the presence of the group. Someone who starts to hang out with a new group of friends may start to conform to some of their behaviors while in their presence, but not act the same way while in private. Much like compliance, identification is a short-term form of conformity that is generally the result of a normative social influence. And our third and final level of conformity is going to be internalization, which is just when a person changes their public behavior and private beliefs in the long term. This is usually the result of an informational social influence, which are just going to be influencers resulting from our willingness to accept others' opinions about reality. Now moving on, we are going to focus on the first level, compliance, as we discuss Solomon Ash's experiment on conformity. In the 1950s, Ash is going to run several experiments that test an individual's willingness to conform. In doing so, he gathered a group of 50 male college students to participate in a vision test. Ash would put a test subject in a room with a group of other guys who unknowingly to the test subjects were participating in the experiment as confederates, were shown an image similar to the one on the board, and then were asked to match the line on the left to the correct line on the right. Ash would draw the card and then starting with the confederates would ask for a response until making his way to the actual test subject. In some rounds the confederates would give the correct response while in others they would purposely choose the incorrect response in order to see if the test subject conforms. And luckily for us, I have some rare footage of the experiment being conducted, so we are going to see firsthand how this experiment went down. Enjoy. Hello participants, allow me to introduce myself as Professor Solomon I Oh my, what a great looking group of test subjects we have today. Today, gentlemen, you will be performing a brief visual acuity test. On the screen, you will see various lines. It is going to be your duty to match the line on the left to one of the three lines on the right. Brody, my friend, we are going to start with you. All right, let's do it. A. A, sir. Uh, hey, dog. <laughs> my turn already? Uh, A. B. B, Professor. <laughs> B or whatever. <laughs> Your turn, bro. Uh, B. Uh, A, bro. I will go with A as well, sir. A. Oh man, I don't know what these guys are looking at, but the answer is clearly C. Uh, I don't want to look like a jabroni though. I'll just say A. A. Going with B. 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 Again? Are you kidding me? Maybe I'm the one who's saying it wrong. B. Last one, definitely C. C. Going with B. B. 
All right, gentlemen, thank you for your time. You may exit to your left where you will have your exit interview. All right, all right, you got me. So it wasn't exactly a first-hand account, but you gotta give me some credit because it was the best recreation I could do. So anyways, let's analyze this experiment a little bit. Now, in our first few trials, we could see that each Confederate member of the experiment purposely gave the incorrect response to the question, leading to the test subject doing the same. The test subject denies the reality of what they see and conforms to the group. This is a result of the normative social influence the group has over the individual, pressuring him to conform. In another trial, Ash had one Confederate participant go give the right answer while the other Confederates give the wrong answer. In this trial, we saw that the test subject selected the correct response, going along with the lone Confederate. Ash found that when a partner agrees with the test subject, conformity to the majority group drops from 37% to 5%. Ash also noted that both normative and informational influences were present during the trials as some participants stated they conformed because they wanted to fit in with the group while others stated they truly believed that the group was right. So that does it for our lesson on Solomon Ash's conformity experiment. If you did enjoy, please do feel free to like and subscribe. It is always appreciated and will keep you up to date with all my most recent videos. Until next time, Peace.